right, let's get right to it. This is going to show you how to route GGD drums in Reaper. First, we want to open up a track. I like to name it Drum MIDI. Come to our effects, Native Instruments, open up Contact. Select which drum samples you'd like. Click and hold. <clears throat> Insert awkward silence as my computer loads up the program. Alakazam! All right, once it loads up, uh, if this is your first time opening up this program, you probably won't see your outputs. To get that, you come up to these three rectangles up here, click, and, make, and then uh, click on the outputs. Then you'll be able to see them down here. Next, you want to come to, up to this little information tab right here. Click that, and on the MIDI channel, make sure it says Omni. Down here now, you want to make sure that says Multi Out. I don't know if there's a faster way to do it, but I only know the slow way. On each of these aux channels, we're going to re want to unassign all these. So you'll come way down here. Not connected. Not connected. And don't worry about that warning. And you will follow suit for the rest of these aux channels. Oh, can't grab it, it seems. There we go. Now we're going to want to add our outputs. So we got one channel already, and how I do it is I follow these so that you'll have one channel for kick, one channel for snare, one channel for toms, and then in the cymbals it kind of splits them up. We're going to do a channel for hi-hats, a channel for ride, a channel for effects, and I also separate the channels just for the cymbals for the overheads, room close, room far. Uh, you'll As you look in the other tabs, you'll also see those for the other uh, components of the drums, but I don't dive too hardcore into it, so I usually lump all those together. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total outputs you want. So come up to your plus sign. You want to have this clicked, and uh, normally that will is supposed to assign all the all the channels like that you add like this one two and then when you add second channel it should be three four and so forth uh, recently it has been doing it for me since we want to nine total channels but we already have one channel here come over here and click and this go upward till it says eight hit OK there's the rest of our channels come in here and just like how we unassign the other one we are going to uh, we're going to manually assign all these so you'll come in here click well it doesn't want to click and so this is channel uh, channel one for one two so you're going to come down to here one two and there you see it says three four you're just going to keep doing that all the way across Go into the unassigned. Fourteen. Team sixteen. There we go. Now you can also leave these titles up here as ST1, 2, 3, and so forth. Or you can also relabel them, uh, what you see up here. If you want to do that, you just double click in there. And then rename it to whatever you'd like.
now that we got this all set up, uh, a very important step is to come up here to this exclamation mark and click it. Uh, I'm not sure what it does exactly, but it almost acts like a refresh. So now when you come down here to assign all your drum components, it'll match what you have down here. And like I said, I don't get too crazy diving too far into this, so all these will just be on the kick channel. You can still come in here and uh, adjust your settings, but it'll all be routed out through the one channel. This is my favorite one because it takes so long. Sprite, effects, and uh, these are the only ones I route separately. Again, personal preference, you can add as many channels as you want, and you can route as much as you want out up to 64. Uh, but like I said, I don't dive too crazy into it, so I'm not going to get that crazy with it. We're almost done with the setup in the VST. Now we just have to come up here to our out. And you can see where we end right here. And you just want to make sure that you keep hitting the plus button to all these, to the black blocks line up with each one of ours. And uh, last time I did it, I had to go up to about 20 instead. So you'll want to keep going until it says 20 out of 64. Now we can come down here and add our tracks. We added a total of nine outputs in the GDD program, so we're gonna want to add nine tracks out here. So a quick way to do that is hit Control T on the computer or Command T in MacBook. Zoom those down a little bit. And I personally like just to name them how I have them inside GDD. Now you come up to the drum MIDI track for your send receives. You come down to here and you can do it individually, but you can add sends to all tracks. Now we already talked about the stereo routing, so kick was always going to be one, two, but now down here for snare, come down to stereo source, you're going to want that to be three, four. And we're going to follow that all the way down. So make sure we have our kick, snare, toms. Ah, uh, see, I already messed it up. Toms, hats. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. And now, just to be able to do it quickly, I'll just drop in a quick little pre made MIDI. And you'll drop your MIDI or your write your MIDI into the MIDI track. And now, when we play it, you should see all these tracks dancing with audio. Just make sure I'm on the right setting. Nope, Invasion. The pre-made ones are general MIDI, so I'll set the settings to general MIDI. You 
see all the different audio dancing around. Now this is obviously nice just because now you can come in here with the VSTs from Reaper or any third party VSTs and go through each individual component and make it sound good to however you want it to sound. Now that is a crap ton of work so, and I do not want it. no one wants to do that every time they open up a project. So now if you come up to file, t project templates, you can save this template. It'll automatically take you to the address. Say drum So now, let's say we go to a new project. Now we can just come down to project templates and open up our template we just saved. And boom, now you're just good to drop in whatever MIDI pack you want in here or write whatever MIDI you want. And there you go. That's how to route GGD drums and how to make a template so you do not have to do the caveman way every time. Thanks for watching.